In the last lecture, we learned how to create and use a custom React hook. Now, in this lecture, we are going to understand custom React hook with a more practical example. In this lecture, we are going to create a custom HTTP hook. And to create and work with custom HTTP hook, here I have created a very simple React application. In this React application, a user can go ahead and create a task. And when he clicks on this create button, that task will be first created in the database. So here you can see we have this task collection and in this collection, a new task has been created. And this new task is also rendered in the web page. If I go ahead and create another task. And if I click on this create button, this another task will be first created in the database and then it will be rendered in the web page. Then user can also go ahead and delete a task for that. He can click on this delete button. So when he clicks on this delete button, that task gets deleted from the database and it also gets removed from the web page. And to implement this functionality, I'm using the HTTP request and response concepts. So the concepts which we learned in the HTTP request and response section. Now from the previous lecture, I have commented this increment and decrement component here and in the JSX code. So here and I'm adding an input element here inside which the user can specify the task details. And here we have this create button and we are displaying the tasks using this task component. So this area which you see here inside which we are displaying the task detail and this delete button that is displayed using this task component. Now, in order to create a new task, we have this function called create task from within which I'm using this fetch API to send a post request to create a new task. Then we also have this fetch task function from where we are sending a get request to fetch all the tasks from the server. And here we have this on delete task function. And from within this function, we are sending a delete request to delete a task from the server, from the database. And here to send these HTTP requests and receive the HTTP response, I'm not using any new concept. I'm using the same concept which we learned in the HTTP request and response section. So basically I'm using this fetch API to send a request and this fetch API is going to return us a promise. If that promise is resolved, I'm handling that promise using this then method. But if that promise is rejected, I'm handling that rejected promise using this catch method. And I'm doing the same thing inside this fetch task function. So here also I'm using this then and catch method. And I'm also doing the same thing inside this create task function also. So there also I'm handling the resolve promise using this then method and rejected promise using this catch method. So if you notice in all these three functions, the logic is almost same. Because in all these three functions, we are sending an HTTP request to the server using this fetch API. And then we are handling the response, the promise returned by this fetch API using this then and catch. And the logic written in this then and catch is almost same. So if I go to this fetch task in this then method, we have the same logic and this catch method is also same in the same way in this on delete task. Also inside this then method, we have the same logic and inside this catch method. Also, we have the same logic. So here we have some duplicate codes and here I see an opportunity of using a custom react hook. So what I want is I want to create a generic react hook, which can be used to send a request to the server. That request can be a get request, a post request, a put request, a delete request, etc. And that react hook should be responsible for handling both the resolve promise and the rejected promise. And this react hook should also be responsible for handing over the data or the error message which has occurred to the component where we want to use that response data or that error message. So inside this utilities folder, I'm going to create a new file. I will call this file use hyphen HTTP. You can name this file anything. And inside this, I'm going to create a function. So for that, we can use this function keyword. And here I want to create a custom react hook. So the name of the function, since we are creating a custom react hook, it must start with use. And I'm going to call this custom react hook, this function use HTTP. Then let's also go ahead and let's export this use HTTP hook. Then from this app component, I'm going to move this error message state from here to this use HTTP hook. So inside this function, I'm going to create 
this error message state using this use state and in order to use this use state we also need to import it from react library now inside this use http hook i'm going to create a function for that let's again use this function keyword and i'm going to call this function send http request and this function is responsible for sending an http request to the server okay and then from within this use http react hook we want to return this error message so the value stored in this error message and also this function so from here i'm going to return an array and this array is going to have the error message and this function so this is the function which we want to return from this use http react hook all right now inside this function we want to write the logic for sending the http request to the server and then handling the response so for that i'll go to this app.js component and from here i will copy this logic and i will paste it inside this function now here we have some hard coded value so we are hard coding the url we are hard coding the method type so here the method type is post and we are hard coding the body but these values might differ so what i'm going to do is for this use http i'm going to specify some parameters the first parameter is url the second parameter will be the method and the third parameter will be the body now if you want you can also expect some headers for this use http but since i'm not going to specify any headers i will simply omit it but if you want to set headers while sending the http request then you can also accept that header as a parameter for this use http react hook and then to this fetch api let's pass the url the url which we have received as the parameter for the method let's specify the method parameter and for the body here instead of using this value let's specify the body now we are using this fetch api to send a request to this url to this endpoint and this fetch api is going to return us a promise if that promise is resolved this then method will be called inside this then method we are checking if the response is okay or not if the response is not okay in that case we are throwing this error manually and this error will be handled by this catch method but if the response is okay in that case here we are calling this fetch task function but we do not have this fetch task function inside this file so here what we want is when we have the response we want to hand over that response to a function in the app component because it is this app component where we want to use the response data okay so for this use http react hook i'm also going to expect another parameter i will call it maybe action and this action should be assigned with a function and once we have the response we want to call that function and to that function we want to pass the response data so here i will create a variable i will call it data and to this i will assign response.json so this response.json is going to return us the body of the response and we are assigning it to this data variable and then let's go ahead and let's pass that data to this action function all right so here we have created a custom use http hook in the next lecture let's see how we can use this use http hook to send a get a post and a delete request to the server this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day